Hey guys, what's up? This is Manas, your friend and tutor and I'm back with another video on friction and this time around the problem is going to be very very interesting. So I want all of you to pause the video right now and go through this, this entire description. It's going to be fun. Okay, assuming that you've read the description, let me explain you this entire arrangement in a very brief manner. Here we go. There are two blocks, block A and block B. Block A is on a sort of horizontal plane, block B is on an inclined plane. Alright. Now these two blocks are connected to each other with the help of this link. The name of the link is link AB. Now the natural tendency of this block B would be to slide down the plane. Therefore the friction will be acting up the plane. Well that's that's pretty much obvious. What we need to make sure is that we don't want this block to slide down the plane. Or you can also say we want this link to be absolutely horizontal. And if this link is horizontal, this block B will stay where it is right now. To ensure that all of this happens, okay, or to ensure that the link stays horizontal, to ensure that the block B stays in this position only, we need to find that minimum weight of block A. Okay, so the weight of the block A should be good enough in order to make sure that the link AB stays horizontal and the block B stays exactly where it is right now. Now, as far as the coefficient of friction is concerned, there are two surfaces. One is this horizontal plane and one is this inclined plane. Let me go ahead and read this coefficient of friction for block A and the horizontal surface. So let's say the coefficient of friction between block A and the horizontal surface be represented by mu A and it's equal to 0.4. And as far as block B is concerned, let's say it's represented by mu B and it's equal to, okay, angle of friction is given. Now guys, there is a very important relationship between angle of friction and the coefficient of friction. Well, coefficient of friction mu is tan phi. Phi is how much? That's 20. So if you do this tan 20, the value of coefficient friction will work out as 0 0.364. I'll, I'll take it as 0 0.36. Okay. Now, in order to work, the, work out the value of WA, what we're going to do is we're going to have to make a free body diagram of all the three elements that is block A, rod AB and block B. So let us free all the three bodies from each other and here we go done. Now let me let me analyze all the forces acting on block B right now and here they are. As I have told you block B will naturally have a tendency to move down the plane therefore friction will be up the plane upwards this way. So this is going to be the frictional force and this over here over here from in this direction we'll have the normal to the surface the normal for block b let's say is represented by nb okay so friction friction force rather is a product of coefficient of friction and the normal normal is mb nb and coefficient of friction is uh, 0 0.36 so this can essentially be written as 0 0.3 times 6 times of n b okay so what's next the next thing is that this block since it is having a natural tendency to move down the plane, it is going to exert some force onto this link AB that has been represented by this blue arrow. So the block P exerts a force P towards the left hand side onto this bar AB. Let me write this bar AB. So the bar AB will retaliate and it will apply an equal amount of force to this block B in the right hand side direction that is P itself but with this arrow, red arrow. Okay, that's it. So this blue arrow is for <coughs> the force applied by the block onto this link and this red arrow is for the force applied on block B by this link. Done. Action and reaction case. It's, it's pretty simple. Anyway, if you watch carefully, the angle made with the horizontal over here has got to work out as 60 degrees. Okay. Therefore, this normal and this vertical will have the same angle in between them. Okay, if, if you if you extend this, if you extend this here, the angle is 60 degrees and here also the angle is going to be 60 degrees. Now, what you can essentially do is you can resolve these two forces into the respective X and Y components that can be done. Okay, fine. Let, so let's go ahead and do that. And that's one component 0 0.36. If this is 60 degrees, this has got to be 30 degrees and this over here has again got to be 60 degrees so 0 0.36 times of nb and here we are going to have 0 0.36 times nb cos 60 and here we'll have the sort of vertical component 
again we are going to have 0 0.36 times nv sin 60 okay any other force that we need to decompose uh, okay we, we have got this also nb nb so over here nb will have the cos component this is going to be nb cos 60 and we'll have the sine component also and where shall i put the direction where shall i put the direction there is absolutely no space let me put it over here okay this is nb sin 60 okay 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 now now let me clarify this once again let me tell you the forces the component of 0 0.36 nb is 0 0.36 nb cos 60 towards the right and 0 0.36 nb sin 60 upwards the component of nb r one is this one towards the left hand side that is nb sin 60 and one is upwards that is nb um, cos 60 that's it these were the components now let's go ahead Okay, so these were essentially all the forces acting. We are only interested in the forces acting along X and acting along Y. Okay. So, th this P force will be here also. Same concept. Right. This blue arrow is for the force applied by this block A onto this link. Okay. And this red arrow is an equal amount of force P uh, from this link onto this block A. And one more thing that you can work out is for block A, over here we will have the normal let us say Na and if you watch carefully if this is having a tendency to go down this will have a tendency to move towards the left. If this has a tendency of moving towards the left then obviously the friction is going to act in the right hand side direction this way. Let me put it up over here this way and you know very well it is mu n the value of mu is 0 0.4. So this has got to be 0 0.4 times of n A and that is done. Now, what do we need to find? We need to find the value of W A. For finding the value of W A, you need to consider this body that is block A. So, let us let's kick off with block A. Block A. And first of all, what we are going to do is, we will take this summation of f of y is equal to 0. Well, why are we doing this? Because W A force is actually lying along the y axis. That is why we are doing this summation of all the forces is equal to along the y direction is equal to 0 and this is going to be Na upwards positive Wa downwards negative Na minus Wa is equal to 0. You can essentially write this as Wa that is something we need to found, find Wa is equal to Na that is it. So now essentially the objective is to find the value of Na and when you get the value of Na you get the value of Wa. Okay. Now let us apply one more equation of equilibrium. Summation of all the forces along x direction is equal to 0. So P force is acting towards the left, well negative, 0 0.4 Na towards the right, positive 0 0.4 times of Na. Okay. From this particular equation you can get the value of Na. Na is equal to, uh, okay this is equal to 0, I forgot to write it, Na is equal to P upon 0 0.4. Okay. Let us say this is our equation number 1 and let us call this as equation number 2. Again, let me highlight this also. Now, if you want to find the value of WA, you need NA and to find NA, you need P. So, somehow you have to find the value of P, then only you can proceed. So, let us let's consider block A, block P now. Block P. Okay. First of all, what we are going to do is, we are going to consider all the forces acting along the x direction is equal to 0. Since it is a case of static equilibrium, all the forces in the x direction will be 0 and all of them in the y direction will also be 0. Okay, So, we have got this 0 0.36 nb cos 60. This is positive since it is towards the right. 0 0.36 nb cos 60. nb sin 60, this is towards the left negative nb sin 60 and we've got this p red colored one okay towards the right so you need to take a positive sign is equal to 0 now let us try to frame this equation in a better way if we take nb as common what remains inside the bracket will be 0 0.36 cos 60 minus sin 60 and nb outside plus p is equal to 0 
if you try to put this up into a calculator the final value that you are going to get is negative of 0.686 times of okay that's nb plus p is equal to 0 okay this is all all that we've got now let us rewrite this in a better way p is equal to 0 0.686 times of nb and let's call this as equation number 3 okay now you can clearly see the value of wa depends on na na depends on p p depends on nb so finally we have to get the value of nb anyhow and there is only one option left we have to go for this one summation of all the forces acting along y direction is equal to zero okay uh, let's proceed so we've got this 0 0.36 nb sin 60 upwards positive nb cos 60 upwards positive wb downwards that is negative let me write this Now what we'll do is we'll take NB as common, okay, and then we'll we'll take this minus 500 over to the right hand side so that it, it will become positive. Let's do this. Well, now the problem has become very very easy. What you need to do is you need to solve this equation and you can get the value of NB. NB will work out as 615.94 newtons. Now this is nb you, you put that value of nb over here so that you can get the value of p so the value of p will work out as let me check how much it is so this is going to work out as 422.5 newtons okay now we have got the value of p put the value of p over here and that's it okay that's it na is equal to p over this one that is 0 0.4 na let me write this na is equal to p upon 0 0.4 that means this value over 0 0.4 that is going to work out as 1056 newton 1056 newtons and you know very well the value of wa is equal to na and thus this is going to be equal to wa that's the final answer okay and you can conclude by saying that if you put up a weight of 1056 newtons Okay, or if we if we take the uh, weight of block A as one zero five six newtons, then in that case, this link AB shall remain horizontal forever and ever, and this block B will never slide down the plane. That's it. So, guys, that was all from my side for today. If you've got any doubt or query, do write them down in the comment section below. I'll be very happy to answer them. And if you believe that this video tutorial has enhanced your knowledge of engineering mechanics then do share and like this video subscribe to this channel and also press the bell icon for instant notifications i'm going to be back with more such videos on friction and whole lot of topics until then it's a wrap for today this is manas patnaik signing off take care have a great day keep learning thank you